Greetings and welcome to Saturday Afternoon Football. Dennis Cometti speaking. I'm joined by my accomplice in primetime, Matthew Richardson. How are you, Dennis? Today is an exciting match. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The battle looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. Umpire tosses the coin. Port Adelaide kicking to the left of screen. Round four. The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait, but I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. We're underway. The opening bounce. Huge leap. Boak has the ball. Gains possession. Pan passed by Gibbs. Squeezes on a handball. Betts puts his head down and runs in. Bets gets the ball rolling with the first goal of the game. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Bets celebrates. Umpire has the ball ready for the center bounce. Jacobs nicely outclassing Burn Jones. Otten gets the ball, marked by Watts. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. That drop punt works well for Atkins. He'll need a long range boomer from here. Gibbs wins the marking contest. 35 meters out. Going for goal number one. He really should have made more of that. Adelaide by seven points. Hartlett really wears his heart on his sleeve. He boots it. He grabs it. Gibson lining up with the goals. He kicks the ball. Miller taps the ball. The umpire will ball it up. Good tap from Jacobs. Hartlett sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Going for goal number one. Oh, no, I couldn't kick it either. The Crows by eight points. He has a few options. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Good eye boots it. Gibson marks. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. He kicks inside 50. Strong mark. Pittard got a really good football and brain. That's a mark. He gets boot to the ball. Need with great hands. He slams that on the boot. Strong mark there. Sending it on its way. The umpire wants to ball it up. Jacobs wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Cheney gets the ball. Cheney throws it, clear as day. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. Cheney Tom slots it. Good Adelaide sink there first. Polek has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Celebration time after that one for Pollock. 
The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here we go. Jacobs seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. His approach looks good. And the ball is out of play. The umpire wants to throw it in. Jacobs hits it. McKay knocks it down. Homsch scoops it up. Otten gets the footy. Bunning in for the goals now. He takes the contested mark. McGovern telling his sights on the goals. 25 metres out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. The throws by eight points. McGovern is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. McGovern with the goal, and he runs back into position. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Jacobs gets onto the ball. He gains possession, able to grab it on the half volley, controlled by Powell Pepper. Jams it on the boot. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Jams it on the boot now. That was all Gibson. Gibson, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. He takes a strong mark. McKay puts his boot on it. Betts marks it. Perspiring like a putting in a pot as he lines the shot up. 35 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. A goal for the Crows. The second goal for Betts. Adelaide could score the last two goals. The Crows by 14. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Smiles all round. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Jacobs decisively. He's got the football now. He gets his hands on the footy. Shot at goal by Pollock. Almost, but not quite. The power won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Adelaide have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time, so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. He slams that on the boot. Cheney with a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Strong mark there. Pollock in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rule that one. Deft touch from Sloan. Jacobs sticks out his hands and collects the ball. An easy interception for Pinner. He's got the football now. Boak is starting to get a lot of the football. Burn Jones throws the ball. Free kick. Douglas puts it on the boot. Batted down nicely by Cleary. A good job keeping it in play there. Sorry I spoke too soon. It goes across the line. You can see the determination on the Ruckman's faces. Jacobs told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. He's got the footy now. The ball is out of bounds. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck. Good hand skills there. He gets boot to the ball. And the ball goes over the boundary line. The ruckman jostle for position. Jacobs taps. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Great ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. 40 metres from home. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Great with the goal. He sinks his first goal. The power trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here.
He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Gray chose the goal umpire the right signal. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. The power they're only applying token pressure in the Ruck. It's just not good enough as a result. The opposition are winning the match. Running in for the goals now. Dixon with good strong hands. Dixon has a kick. He really had to make more of that. Port Adelaide trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. Chini gets set to kick it back in. Nice work from Crouch. That kick has covered a very long distance. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Time to check those stats. Although the power have had 10 handballs, Adelaide are on gate, which isn't much of a difference at this. The first break is finished and play is set to commence. Never give up, never give in. And when the upper hand is yours, you may have the ability to win with the dignity that you absorb the loss. Kicks. Strong mark by me. Did he see a ghost? There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. That's two in a row for the power. We're all tied up now. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Great shows the goal umpire the right signal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here we go. Jacobs is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. He knocks it down. Pal Pepper tackles him to the ground. He lays off the pass, winds, heading for goal. Has the mark all to himself. He kicks quickly, wins the handball. Need getting into position for the kick. Sends the show and on its way. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. 40 minutes from home. Kicked by Collar. Great has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. 20 minutes from home. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. That's three in a row for the power. A one goal lead for Port Adelaide. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Great knows that was something special. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Jacobs got the hit out. He controls the bouncing ball. Sloan feeds it wide. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Tumpus has got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He gets boot to the ball. It's intercepted. He slams that on the boot. Strong mark there. Miller kicks the ball. He takes the contested mark. And he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Betts holds his breath. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. The Crows is down by less than a kick. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Hartlett slams it on the boot. Tumpus having no trouble taking that one. Clearing it with ease here. What wins the marking contest? Fix it. A good mark under the circumstances. Gibbs just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. He kicks the ball. Miller up with the mark. He kicks the ball. That's a mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Gibbs going for number one. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. Less than one goal in this match. Adelaide still very much in it. Looks like he's going to go long. Hartlett plays on. Choose to kick it. 
Jenis Knox. Choose to kick it. Nice contested mark by Ponch. Jams it on the boot now. Takes that one strongly. Wines has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. He grabs it. Sending it on its way. He grabs it. Jacobs kicks it. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. Pittard with the mark. Sends the shilling on its way. Nice work from Boat. Jams it on the boot now. Ebert gets the upper hand. Oh, something must have carried that. It's a lovely long kick. Punishing kick from Burn Jones. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Crouch. It's a first-class decision maker. He appears unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Puts boot to ball. A nice contested mark. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Gibbs a chance to grab the lead for his side. So close, but just misses. The goal eluding them each time. The lead is easily in reach for Adelaide. Hartlick waiting to bring it back into play. He decides to play on. Boots it. Marked by Pinner. Jams it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. Booted by McCann. Great mark. Otten lining up. Spears a low ball. A good mark under the circumstances. Gibbs will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. 40 metres out. A set shot on a 45-degree angle. Pittard really wears his heart on his sleeve. Strong mark there. Pomsch with the kick. He takes the contested mark. He boots it. Boat marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. Need kicks. Douglas gets the tap. Tap by Pollock. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Gibson with the mark. Gibson is quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. He slams that on the boot. Powell Pepek with great hands. Puts boot to ball. A nice contested mark. Ebert slams the ball to his boot. Good mark. He kicks it. What a mark. Pollock. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Just a few points the difference. Chaney has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight pack situations. He slams that on the boot. Smith marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. He gets boot to the ball. Great hands. A big kick by Sloan. Marked by Blair. Time to see if there's anything interesting in amongst the stats. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. 13 to 9. Both teams are sitting fairly even on the board in marking contests. Much appreciated, Richo. It's half time and no doubt the coach will want to have a chat to his team about their first half performance. The third quarter has begun. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Superb handball. Ball up in the centre square. Jacobs decisively takes possession. The umpire to ball it up. Burn Jones punches. Pollock with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Handballs to the running man. Otten may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. The ball is tapped. He handballs it. Ball up in the centre square. Jacobs is superb with his rough work. Once his eyes are locked onto the ball, there's little chance he won't get a fist to it. He boots it. Ebert 
with the mark. He kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Roy Bent to kick on a 30-degree angle. It's certainly not the easiest of shots, that's for sure. That's four in a row for the power. Good Adelaide over. Adelaide by 10. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Very happy with that kick. All is in readiness. The bounce. Burn Jones directs it down. Sloan made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Sweeping handball. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Jacobs taps. Has it now. Wines with the football. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. Port Adelaide with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading the Crows 34 to 23. Nice work from Crouch. Sends it on its way. He misses the mark. Douglas aims for his man on the ground. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. 60 meters out. Pollock on a 45-degree angle. It's just a question of accuracy. Batted down nicely by Crouch. He has a mighty kick of the footy. Picked up under pressure. Doesn't quite manage to pull it off. Great try. The ball has been tossed in. Port Adelaide are really trailing in the clearance count. They might want to target this as an area to improve, but it's not really being reflected on the scoreboard. It gets tapped. Boak with the spoil. Watts scoops up the ball. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. He boots it. Burn Jones with an easy mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Douglas has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. Laird kicks the ball. Gibbs with the mark. He kicks the ball. Betts marks it. Distance could be the problem. A great effort. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 40 metres out. He's on a 30 degree angle. Gibbs going for number one. Gibbs with the goal. The Crows only trailing by less than a goal. Gibbs is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. He's excited about that one. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Jacobs really wears his heart on his sleeve. The ball is tapped. Good hand skills there. Clurry with a bump. Sloan hits it. The ball is tapped. It gets tapped. He takes the footy. He gets the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. That's a mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. A mark by Wines. Gets boot to high. Nice mark there. Broad bent. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Bo kicks it. He claims the ball. Polet getting into position for the kick. Sending it on its way. Jacobs with the mark. He's a long kick. Brown has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Choose to kick it. Boat grabs that one. Gets boot to leather. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Brown control to Major Tom. Cleary has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Flurry is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. He gets boot to the ball. Burn Jones with good strong hands. Puts boot to ball. He takes the contested mark. Picked by Douglas. Ball goes over the line and out of play. 
Look at the big eaters. They're doing their exercise now as this ball comes into play. Boak gets the ball. Choose to kick it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Broadbent with the kick. Strong mark. Ebert takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. It's tapped down nicely. Laird with a clean pick up. Brown with the football. He handballs it. Puts the head down as he runs into goal. Jenkins gets onto the ball. Wines gathers it. Ebert has a kick. The goal flipped the power. But Adelaide for the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 40 to 29. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Ebert with the goal, and he runs back into position. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Deft touch from Jenkins. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. The loose ball picked up by Burn Jones. Yet another possession. Sends it on its way. Wins the hard ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Broadbent intercepts it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice mark there. Gets boot to leather. Sloan marks it. Gets boot to leather. Jenkins got under it. Choose to kick it. Here's Richo with his stats. Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with Port Adelaide on 55 and the Crows on 51. Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Port Adelaide with 77 and Adelaide with 64. It doesn't get much closer than that. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. Here we go for the last quarter. The more difficult the victory, the greater the happiness in winning. Burn Jones gains possession through the interception. Marked by me. Boots it. Great grabs that one. 65 metres out. Goes towards half forward. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. The dominance we're seeing from the power at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. He boots it. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Goes up the line. A nice running mark. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Was that a throw? I think it was. Dixon getting into position for the kick. 35 metres out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Pollock whacks one on the boot for goal. He kicks it. Gun barrel struck. He'll be happy with goal number two. The power have scored the last two goals. Ominous signs for Port Adelaide. Three goals up now. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Pollock chose the goal umpire the right signal. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Clean tap by Burn Jones. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Works it across the ground. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Pollock kicks it. Need aims for his man on the ground. Great gets the tap. Picked up under pressure. Well, he tried and he failed. We'll have a throw in. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. Neither Ruckman giving an inch. 
Jacobs got a fist on him. Gathered by Thebert. Wines there to mop it up. Need gets the tap. Jacobs aims for his man on the ground. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. Into the game comes Thebert. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Jacobs seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Laird with the kick. And the ball crosses over the boundary. A good hit out there. Laird gets the footy. The ball is tapped. Gibson with the pick up. Tapped. He gains possession. Otten has the football. He slams that on the boot. Lynch lines it up. A monster kick will be required from here. Taken by Gibbs. A monster kick will be required from here. Going for goal number two. And he's missed. Look at that behind tally for Adelaide. Lots of wasted opportunities there. Hartlett may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He lines it up with the goal. Lynch kicks it. Gibbs takes the mark. A chance to add one more to his tally. Pinpoint accuracy from Gibbs. He's back to couple now. Adelaide can catch up from here. They're less than two goals down. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Gibbs knows that was something special. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. Here's the bounce. Tap to advantage. Pollock picks up the bouncing ball. Wines going for distance. Heyman with a chance if he keeps a cool head. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Good Adelaide in front. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Heyman knows that was something special. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Great bounce. Jacobs wins the tap. Terrible timing by Burn Jones. Boak sends the ball on its way. Pal Pepper guides it. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. Strong mark. Picks it across the ground. Burn Jones marks it. Burn Jones is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Broadbent scoops up the ball. He hand passes it. The up has had enough. It's a ball up. Jacobs decisively. The loose ball picked up. Heyman guides it. Dances around the boundary line. Choose to kick it. Marks. Picked by Atkins. Laird got under it. Laird has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He boots it. He marks the ball. Otten with the kick. That's a mark. Watts kicks the ball. A good contested mark there. He gets boot to the ball. He drops the mark. Gibbs cuts off the ball. Gibbs goes for home. The scoreboard's starting to worry. Adelaide now needs someone to break out. He's ready to bring it back into play. Puts boot to ball. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Pal Pepper slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Jams it on the boot. Need grabs that one. Sends the Sharon on its way. McKay puts the ball in the hands of fate. Sends the Sharon on its way. Laird grabs that one. Boots it. 
A big run to take that mark. Jacobs has got good knowledge of the game and you can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Gibbs takes a shot, it's in the air. The huge kick makes it through the goals. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Burn Jones. Leave the pinatas for the kids. Clean tap by Jonas. Rockliffe gets the tap. Led with the mighty fist. Not much time left. The best you can hope for is simultaneous free kicks. Nice hands. Chini slams it on the boot. Clue ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Nice mark there. You'll have to put in after hours training to get those shockers out of his game. What a valiant effort from Port Adelaide. Very poor performance, they just never looked in the game. The power won the match against the Crows 53 to 43. It's all said and done, it's real and it's been fun.